Hey everyone, it's Coach Marcus coming to you with CCC Part 3. I know you missed me, but I'm back. Make sure you do check out the other two videos, number one of course, and then number two. Alright, without further ado, we're going to make this thing happen. We're going to start off with a warm up. Alright, we're going to warm up a little bit. We're only going to do this one time through, 45 seconds. We have a few moves, four moves to be exact. And I'm going to do the first bit of the workout with you, then once we get to the end, I'll let you know when you can just finish this up on your own. But I'll be with you for the first few. All right, first move. We're just gonna march it in place. That's not so bad. You might have just came from sitting down or doing something else where you were not moving. So we're just gonna start off with some simple movement. Yes, this warm up's gonna progress. Hopefully you're having a nice day or evening or whenever you decide to plug me in and put me on your screen. I'm here with you. You got about 20 seconds. The key of the march is to try to get your knees up past your hips so we can actually start recruiting some of our muscles. Because if we're here, yeah, it's going to wake us up, but this is going to be a little more dynamic and you know it. All right, in about eight seconds, we're going to go right into a jog. All right, if you're not ready to jog, just go ahead and make your march a little quicker. And here we go. The jog, you don't necessarily have to get your knees up to your hip height unless you're going all in. And you may want to, but as long as we're moving here, and I'm going to ask you to get those arms moving as well. So we're going to get those arms moving left over right, right over left. If you feel like you want to do arm circles forward or nice big back strokes, that's up to you. As long as your arms are moving, don't forget about that lower half. That's your legs. Keep that moving as well. Heart rate starting to go up slightly. 15 seconds. We're also gonna get a little more dynamic after this. We're gonna turn it into some squats, but not just any squats. Squats are gonna make us do a little more work. We got three, we got two, and rest. Nice. We're gonna start our feet inside our hips, and if you're gonna be able, you can hop and touch the floor, but if you're not hopping yet, don't worry about it. Step and touch. We're going in two seconds, and here we go. This for 45 seconds is definitely gonna increase your heart rate. All right, so if you have to do this for half of the time, 45 seconds, or 20 seconds and 20 seconds, then you can do that, all right? I'm gonna try to keep this up for the whole 45. I guarantee you my legs are gonna be burning and my heart rate's gonna be up and I'm gonna be sucking air trying to talk to you folks. Oh yeah, we got 15 long seconds. That's like two feet behind the three-point line. We got eight seconds. I know you're breathing because I'm breathing. And then we're going to bring it down and we're going to high plank it out. If you have wrist issues, then you're going to just do a regular plank. Woo! Heart rate's up. That's the key to the warm up. All right, we're going to hold high plank, hands under chest. You can always do this from your knees or your toes. All right, and if it's too much, bring it down here. Here we go. We're planking. I'm going to stay up top. Try to focus on keeping your hands under your chest. I know what happens sometimes when you go up to high plank, you travel south, your hands are way north, but your booty is slightly high. Let's go ahead and bring those hands back under chest. Get your hips back down to level, even if you need to take it to your knees. You still got all this work and that's your abs. Core, whoo, I'm already sweating and uh, we're not even through the warm up yet. You're hanging. Keep those shoulders tucked back. We got five seconds. We're going to have a breather. You're going to sip your water and rest. Woo! Okay, go ahead and grab a sip of your water because that's what I'm getting ready to do. So go ahead and grab it right now. You got like 14 seconds. Woo! So now we're going to go into the core portion of this workout. It's just going to be all planks. 30 seconds of work, 10 second break. We're gonna do four different types of planks. I'll call them all out right before we do them and I'll show you a quick demo. But we're gonna go one, then we're gonna do the other. One, then the other. So we're only gonna focus on one. First move, regular plank. Bring it down to your forearms. You got 30 seconds. If you're with me, let's get ready. Two, here we go. So we're just Usually 
That's a better plank. If you're looking to, for a little external rotation, see if you can get your palms to lift towards the top of the ceiling tent or sky. And now we're really working. Nice. Not bad, right? That was perfect. We're going to set ourselves up right back into that plank, but we're going to step left and right now. We're going to do some hip abductions, they call it. Lateral steps. Ready? Here we go. If you need to take this to your knees, just like that. Stay on your knees and just extend the leg, tap out to the side. We're still going to get the outside of that hip working and those abs working. Try to keep your chin off your chest. You don't need to look what's going on under there. And continue to keep breathing. We have five seconds. And rest. That's two planks down, two planks to go. Our next one's going to be plank with hip extension. That's you planking. Let me let you see that from the side. You lift and toe up to heel height. Ready? Let's go. Alternating here. If you're like, oh, that's too much. Just kick straight back. Kick straight back. All right, if you're able, lift that puppy off the floor. That's your leg as one unit. So try not to let your knee bend because then the hamstring turns on, takes away from our rear, which is the core, baby. Woo! And if you need to hold out, just hold out real quick. It's okay. Rest. Three or four, baby. Three or four. We got one more. Plank rock. You're going to set yourself up in the plank. You'll rock to your tippy toes and back to the balls of your feet. Short rock. Here we go. You want to be like a nice saw. All right? Stay in a straight line. That's when saws work best. If you can keep them in a straight line instead of all over. All right. I'm sweating. Eight seconds, then we'll have a little breather. Excellent. Let's take a break. See, I'm sweating. You're sweating, I hope. So, if you have a dumbbell, it'd be awesome if you could bring it out. If you do not have a dumbbell, don't worry. The dumbbell is just going to make the exercises slightly harder. The exercises are going to be hard with themselves. All right, so let me turn this so you guys can have a better view of the moves we're getting ready to accomplish here. So, first one is just going to be a dumbbell crunch. All right, so you'll set yourself up. We're working with the same intervals, 30 seconds. You're going to take your dumbbell over your chest, and it's actually only a crunch pulse. So the shoulders will slightly go off the floor, arms stay extended, and we're just pulsing here. You're gonna feel that in your belly so much. So get ready. We're going in three, two, here we go. So you're lifting, shoulders are off the floor, pulse, like your little heart rate. Every time you're at the top of that pulse, try to blow all that air out. You don't even need, this is too much range. Don't even go there, here. Just like that. Extend, lower. You're gonna feel that all through those lower and upper abs. Ah, oh, I got a cramp already. Really put it in your belly, rest. Not so bad, right? Now we're gonna lift our feet up. Arms are gonna stay extended. We're gonna go dying bugs legs only. One leg extends until it gets back and then the other extends. Ready? Let's go. Shoulders are slightly off the floor if you're looking to make this move a little harder. <sighs> Try to keep your chin off your chest. That's chin on chest. That's off. All right. Try not to let your head fall back and you're looking behind you. Keep that head neutral. You should be able to see the arms extended out in front. Remember, there's no dumbbells. It looks like this. Leg touches the he heel touch the floor. Get that extension. If it's bugging your low back, you can drop it here. All right, and rest. Woo, final one. You can use dumbbell or not. Arms extended over your head with the dumbbell or not. You're gonna come up, tap your shin. If you have a dumbbell, don't slam the dumbbell in your shin. Let's not be silly now. Here we go. And if there's no dumbbell, you're just using your arms. You're looking to make this move harder, bring both your legs up. Woo. I think one 
will do. We're almost through with these warm ups. Rest. We did it. That's your core activated. Ready for this workout. Woo! Let me tell you, I'm already sweating and we haven't got to this thing yet. All right, so we got some action moves gonna happen now. You can use your dumbbell or you can not use it. All right, so our first one's gonna be power knees. We're gonna go a right side and an exclusive left side. All right, we're not gonna try to alternate this move. You're gonna go ahead and plant your left foot on the ground. You're gonna ride with me. We're gonna do this together. You're gonna take that right leg long. So this is our setup right here. Get that leg back right now, go ahead, get it back. All right, cool, you got your front leg out in front. Left leg is the front leg, arms are extended. We're gonna pull our hands to our knees and then we're gonna go right back to that long. While we're doing that, we're gonna stay low. All right, we're not coming out of the water here. All right, we're gonna stay low. Cool. So that's gonna rock for 30 seconds of work with a 10 second break. We will do the right first and then the left after. We'll talk about the next moves coming up. We don't wanna overload your brain. So let's go ahead and set up again. Left foot out in front, right foot back, arms long. Here we go. And if you need to go slow, go slow. If you get your feel and you can speed it up, speed it up. You're trying to drive those hands and the knees right to the abdominal area. If you had a nice little wood board, bam, you would be able to break that plank. Knees, hands, blow all that air out as they come together. Inhale long, exhale together. Take a breather. We gotta set up the other side. It's only a 10 second breather. So let's get that right foot out in front, that left foot back. Those arms are up, you're ready, let's go. Important to really keep the majority of the weight on that front leg. If you go forward and then you try to rock all the way back, you're gonna lose a little bit of your balance. Try to really keep that torso over that front leg. All right, even if you have to go slow, you'll find you have a lot more balance. Oh, that leg is roasting. We're almost there. Rest. Nice. Next move. I know it's pretty leggy. We're going to go lunge jumps, alternating lunge jumps. You're not jumping today? Step back lunge. This is going to be double leg duty. You're going to feel it. That heart rate's going up to that ceiling right now. If you need to slow it down, slow it down. See how you can easily slow it down right there. Step it in, step it out. Holy cow, it feels good. Let's finish it out with some hops. Rest. All right, we're to our final move in these in this series, it's gonna be a mountain climber. So if you have sensitive wrists, I'll show you what to do, but first start off, hands under chest, high plank, bring the knees up towards the elbows. Ready, here we go. If you're like, oh, what about my wrist, Marcus? Hey, I'm gonna need you just bring it on down and see if you can get that knee still to your elbow without lifting your hips up too much, all right? It's not an easier move if that's what you were looking for, because that's not happening. Both are appropriate. One's a little more wrist friendly. Try to keep those shoulders tucked back. I'm dripping. Rest. Excellent. So now you're going to go through those three moves two additional times, and then you're going to complete your nice 15 minute CCC workout. I can guarantee you, look at this. You see the sweat on my brow? I can guarantee you, you're going to burn calories, you're going to get your heart rate up, and you're going to have fun at the same time. So make sure you knock out this part three CCC with Coach Marcus. Have a fantabulous day. Have a fantabulous day. My hat is soaked. My hat is soaked. <laughs>